Hello everybody, I'm Card Gaming, and welcome to Heaven's Hope. Now, I do like to play around a lot with uh, different genres on the channel, see what works, see what doesn't, and this caught my eye because of its premise. It is a point-and-click adventure game where you are a fallen angel trying to find his way back into heaven. And the art style looked pretty cool, so let's try it out. The new game. Oh, this looks nice. Once upon a time, one fine October evening in 19th century England, there was... Ah! Well, that was unnecessarily long. I like it, though. How did that happen? Was there, like, a 90-degree turn right there? <coughs> <clears throat> oh, look at those burnt wings. What? Where? Oh no, my halo. Oh, it's on the roof over there. My wings. What? What happened? <sighs> what did happen? Just keep dreaming, Talarel. Umarel. You'll never be an aviator. Where are Salome and Azel, your faithful wingmen? Don't say they've given up already. No, but it might be better if you didn't even compete. We're gonna fly your team into the ground. Sure, if the test was about how much hot air one can spout, and not how good you are in the air. But if you're so sure of yourself, then why don't you show me what you've got, instead of just blabbing on about it? Show me, hmm, the incredible wingbreaker. Or are you scared to? Because to do that, you'd need to get close to Heaven's Barrier. That is one of the most evil-looking angels I've ever seen. And he seems like a dick. And he seems like a goofball. Tannerel. Oh, I feel sick. Where are we? Well, we are in heaven. You, however, my friend, you are on earth. What? What in heaven's name were you thinking to simply fly through the heavenly barrier without permission? That, that wasn't my fault. Something, something rammed me and forced me through it. Of course it wasn't. And where in heaven's name is your halo? Right what? there. Um, absolutely no idea. You must find it immediately before it falls into the hands of a mortal. How else are you going to get back through the heavenly barrier? Yes, and with a bit of luck, you'll make it back before Gabriel and the other Archangels notice. Uh, Azael? What? Just take a look at his... back. Oh. What? Is there something behind me? No. Well... Those wings look kind of crispy! What? what do you mean? I will be able to fly again soon. Won't I? Well... Not like that, you won't. Your wings will need to grow again first and they can only do that in heaven what are we waiting for i look for my halo and you think of a way of getting me out of here ha, forget it we shouldn't even be appearing here as visions if we fly through the heavenly barrier as well they might end up banishing the lot of us so friend you are in time what then they won't let salome and you take the angel exam without me don't worry, Talibal. We will help you as much as we can. But before we figure out how you're going to get back to heaven... With no wings. You must find that halo of yours. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? I have a feeling the inhabitant of that house there is going to get my halo. Oh, there's my halo. I absolutely have to get it back as quick as possible. What's up with these glowing bits here? Can I do anything with that? This flower? What does this say? Can I not read that? Also, 
Why is that guy's hat up in the tree? I guess this is the only one to interact with right now. So let's go with that. Hey, why can't I reach that? Um, because That's you're like weird. 20 meters away. Wait a minute, while I transport myself into the heavenly library. Ideology, idiots. Ah, interstellar travel. Hmm. I've never seen this book here before. Is seven like in a 2D Do dimension? Not panic. What a strange title. Are you sure it will help us? Well, here is something about planets. Planets are in the material plane and use the widely recognized as outdated concept of time and space. While time is something that usually takes care of itself, space tends to create unnecessary distances. Avoid where possible. Great. And how is that supposed to help me? <sighs> Don't act stupider than you already are. This space dictates that you can't reach your halo from here because it's much further away than it seems. Space, time, distances. In short, you'll have to walk back there to get to your halo. I'm supposed to walk? Through all of this dirty, dusty, hard matter? Ah, my poor feet. <laughs> so heaven is a 2D world, I'm thinking. Oh, now I can uh, look around. With a strange pattern on it. Can I grab it? A woven container with some sticky, sweet-smelling stuff in it. I do like that there's like a... Uh, an explanation to why it, it's a 2D game, 2D-ish game. I guess it's 2.5D, hey, technically. strange creature attacked me. I won't be able to get to it that easily. Maybe I can distract him with something. Hello, sir! Hello, winged creature. Without your halo, you can forget about talking to lower creatures for now. Oh, I can talk to creatures? What is this? Hmm. <laughs> Aha! Outstanding performance. Ha! I can make funny faces. I hope that's a thing for every NPC I meet. <gasps> oh, I got some cheese. Wait, did I just scare that mouse? To death? Phew, that was a close squeak. A close squeak? We're done for. Yeah, that was pretty bad. If that little furball pops its clogs because of you, then... I know. I've broken the most important of the five angel commandments here. And I'm never going to get back to heaven now. Well, it's not dead yet, is it? And the Archangel Michael will haul us over the coals because we allowed all this to happen. Talaril. It is vital that you retrieve your halo as quickly as possible. This instant. Right! Then I can send this little furball soul back into its body. Good idea, Salome. I wanna check things out though. Oh, I brought it with me. That's nice. I kinda want this I hat. I honestly don't have the slightest idea of what that means. Strange thing. Yo, yeah, that is a strange thing. Now, can I get... Or do something with this glow hey, bit. They're glowing. I wonder what they are. Is it like poisonous spores? Hmm. They're not that easy to catch. Or mm, light I light think bugs? These are insects. The book has the following to say about them. Winged also exist outside of heaven. The smaller and uglier they are, the more likely they are to be called insects it is no coincidence that insect rhymes so well with infect all that is usually required to protect oneself against insects is to stay away from any sources of sweet scents ah uh, and how is that supposed to help me capture those things wait was that uh, bread okay that's not sweet an old honey bread oh it's honey bread Sticky and very nasty so can I catch these uh, bugs with that? Ah, Talarel said let there be light, and there was light. Yay! Now I have an original sticky thingy strange glowing critter's lamp. Awesome, so that's a lamp, okay. A torch? Seems to be some sort of notice. It says, to preserve divine order, let it be known divine? in the name of the incarnate that the wicked shall be thrown into the Holy Inquisition cells that they may receive their just punishment. Every mortal sin must be punished. 
signed Greta. Someone certainly didn't get the message. The Inquisition? It doesn't exist anymore. Especially not here. It doesn't? You don't notice anything, do you? This is England. They have a state church and a few bad-tempered officials and that's it. At least, it should be. Strange. Yo, yeah. what if an Inquisitor gets my halo? That would be terrible. Can I take this with me? Who knows when that might prove useful? Oh, am I gonna, like, uh, uh, masquerade as an Inquisitor? I guess this is the only way to go, right? I wonder if anyone lives there. There's light in the back, though. So we have to go around this fence. I'm not agile enough to jump over it. Oh, it's a dark forest. Luckily, I have my sticky, glowy bread thing. Ah, we made it. Now, how do I get up there? I can't reach that from here. Three-dimensionality and such. Just fly up there. Oh, sorry. Your wings are broken. How very useful, Azael. Thank you ever so much. Indeed. Now, I like that they don't know about uh, 3D space, but they know about the written language, English, and they know about the state and the Inquisition. What is this? Why does he have a key? Peter's key. My old friend, St. Peter. Friend, right. The way you always bothered him in heaven. Good likeness, though. Who would have thought they'd build him a statue? He is the guardian of the gates of heaven, and people are so eager to go to heaven. Makes sense, right? I'm not so sure St. Peter wants to chat with me. Why not? Oh, I can probably get this and reach that, maybe? The handle is completely rotten. I'll just take the head. Come Darn it. On. Show the humans your left hook. It's not a flaming sword, but I'm sure it'll prove useful. So I could go in there, or I could go in there. I think we're gonna check out the barn first. I feel like there's someone home in here. Locked. Can that open up that? I mean, there's only like a... Uh, this uh, railing or whatever. Barricade. Can't I just lift that? Anyone home? No, I'm definitely not talking to these humans without good reason. The less these strange earth creatures see of me, the better. All right, what else can we do? A metal weathercock. Pretty crooked. <laughs> Cock. Oh, can you do something? Can you pick up that halo for me? I mean, you are an owl. I don't think you are attracted to shiny objects like crows or something. Also, I why is your eyes glowing? Until my halo has been recharged. Can I, like, throw this at that? Let's try this first. He is not amused. <laughs> but I am amused. That's what matters. Now, we can't go in there, we can't go in there. Or, can I, like, wiggle some lock here? Hmm, locked. No, that did not work. It can won't I... work like that. What if I use this pamphlet? No, I'm definitely not talking to these humans without good reason. The less these strange earth creatures see of me, the better. All right. How about... Why would I want to do that? Because I don't know what to do right now. It won't work like that. Is there anything else we can interact with here? I mean, you are the only one for me, was what I was almost gonna say. There's gotta be something to do with you. The head of a ray. If I scare you with this, will something happen? Why would I want to do that? Why not? It won't work like that. Why would I want to do that? I mean, if I give this to him, he might eat it. That's probably very bad. But we'll try it. Why would I want to do that? Alright, so what am I missing? Can I combine stuff? I don't think any of, of these are combinable. In a way that I would like. 
So maybe I... Ooh, what's this? Should I just... A few stones. Toss it? Come, in handy. come on. Good aim. Good aim. Wait, so what am I doing? Too high? What am I doing here? If I put it down here, will it have a different trajectory? Ah, it will. So right there should do it. Wait, I'm hitting it! What about if I hit you? No, that doesn't work either. But I'm pretty sure I hit it right there. Ah! Oh, oh no. shit! Great. Well, we're gonna have to go in here now. Hmm. If I want my halo back, it seems I have no other choice but to go in there. But watch out. There's a reason why not all humans go to heaven. Hey, who do you think you are? Get off of my land! Huh? What a lovely welcome. Stand aside, man. No. The powers of heaven reign on earth. Lower your, um, lance and stand aside. A little less pomposity. Yes, yeah, can I just show well. this? What do you want? Are you from the Inquisition? Yes. Yes. The Inquivision is strong in me. <laughs> the Inquivision. In. Are you sure now? Don't let him intimidate you. Show this trigger-happy human your left hook. Can I just I show know. him this? That's not exactly the way I wanted to get back to heaven. Well? Come on, show him the thing. Depends. Are you a part of it? Listen up, boy. I got the gun. So I ask the questions. So one more time. Are you part of the Inquisition? Hmm. Can I disarm him with this? I can't use stuff in dialogue, it seems. So I guess we'll just have to go what through it. What are you it. talking about? You know, the Inquisition. Never heard of it? Not really. Hmm. If you don't know about the Inquisition, you probably ain't a part of it. No. But maybe this is just a trick. You're gonna have to prove that I can trust you first. I guess. Let's see. Uh, uh, how about this? Insult Greta. I mean, really insult her. Oh. <laughs> that is... These are not, like, super harsh insults, but we'll go with this. Greta stinks. Seriously? Come on, put your back into it. Greta's a witch. A witch. And what a witch she is, too. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> and none of her folk would ever say that about her, neither. They'd all be afraid of being put on the pyre. <sighs> all right, then. Come on in. Yay, we did it. 